Uh, do you want to grab the next one up, Luen, and I can go over that, and then we can go back to one of yours. Sure. Yeah, so grab Luen, the yeah, next one, gold. Yeah, there was a lot of things that Trivergate opponent could have done, but he didn't even know what Update Jammer did, so... Alrighty, we have the Dark Oh yeah, opponent, opponent playing Drytom. You can usually tell because they play the Ritual Field uh, as well. <laughs> so... If Ooh. I remember correctly, this matchup is pretty much... I, I, I sense my opponent ends up limp, trying to limp him because their hand's not very strong and I've got two forms of interaction. And generally the Drytron matchup is, do I have a Kaiju? And even if I do, can I play through two Heralds? Uh, Drytron is incredibly strong going first deck. I kind of struggle to see how they play into an established field, but I've never actually tried to play the matchup on the other side because I always go second and they always go first. The thing with them so, going second is that all of the effects activate in the hand or graveyard and permeate in that way. Uh, similar to like Conquistador, even if skill drains face up, it summons as a trap and then still pops from that trap effect. So right. uh, like the Drytron cards just all do whatever they want from the hand or graveyard and just keep coming back. And like they can play through up to five interrupts because there's so many names. So even though if you have something, they just keep pushing. The key to stopping the deck is cutting them off from Ben 10, actually. Which is uh, incredibly hard to do. Yeah. Uh, so at like at that point, pre-preparation of rights is just adding Dawn of the Herald and Herald of Perfection. I don't even know if I would ash this because we don't know that he's on Ben 10 yet. And if he summons Diviner, that's a way better thing to hold the ash for. That said, you have an Imperm. Yeah, yeah. So I... This is kind of early on when I was still getting to feeling out the Drytron matchup, and I figured if he if he just snaps a Herald like early on, then I'm gonna just like not have any interaction with the rest of his field as he sets up. So I do actually Ash here, but you're right. In most situations, it'd be more of a make more sense to hold back for the Diviner. But you can see why it actually happens if you just want to hit play. Yep. So this cuts. I mean, this Ash is cutting him off from two cards. He's only got three left in hand because he set a card before playing his pre prep. And he plays regular prep and gets to Ben 10 anyway, because... Sad. And there's a Diviner, so down comes in Perm. But he's already... Again, when he's already on Ben 10, I don't know that I would use this Negate here. Now, the most threatening thing he can do is make that rank 1. And you could have held in Perm for the rank 1. But Yeah, that's, that would have been a better line. You, you do know that he's just on Ben 10 and a card. So unless it's a name, you do, with that in Perm, have him completely stunned. So yeah, it did work out in this game, but like that face down card is going to surprise you. This is going to be like YouTube. These top type, these five tricks to win to get to plat one. The the fifth one will surprise you, <laughs> and this is going to be the fifth one up front in the video. I'm not going to make you watch uh, the entire the entire stream before you realize like what uh, nonsense opponent is playing. I actually misplayed this turn. I did have game, but I didn't think that far. I didn't think far what? ahead. Yeah, Unending Nightmare. I was expecting Medianus Drytron. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's probably to, to stop Imperial Order. Somebody's probably just gotten a little bit annoyed at I, Don't Last you just get the Field Spell back? Like... Because you just destroy it again. It's kind of what, what logic I had in my head. But I realized, like, it, I could have made my opponent destroy three of my Field Spells, pay 3,000 life, and then I can kill them through their monster. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad idea, I suppose. Wow. Like, I kind of, I played this a little bit wrong, to be honest, so there was a lot of things I could have done different, yeah, so I ended up making a scuffed access code talker, because I can't get access to my field spell, but I would have been fine, because my opponent would have paid 3,000 life points to keep my field spells off, so I could activate the one from my hand, he destroys it, get it back from the grave, he destroys it, activate the one from my hand, he destroys it, puts him on 5,000, gives me enough to kill him, and I just don't. You also could have access code talker popped it, and then played the field spell, and summoned yellow, and... Yeah, <laughs> got a reborn spell and kept pushing. Yeah, I'm trying, to think, I'm trying to think of why I... Yeah, no, I did clear it out. And you, then... you, you could have done it in main phase one, though. Like, I, I mean, you're going for the eye contact draw three, and that's fine. I'm, he, you yeah. know he's on Ben 10 and a blank, so his top deck better be huge. And you drew into yeah. a kaiju, so now it doesn't matter what his top deck is. Yeah, I, I, there was a oh, lot of better ways. a pretty good draw. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's about the best thing it could have been was Alpha. Yeah, I could have played this matchup a lot better. Uh, and it's, it's kind of like, it's been a bit of a learning process to to get over this, because Drytron 
It's a deck I've seen quite a bit of, but the majority of what I've been playing is, uh, is against uh, Tri Brigade variants. That seems to be the most popular. Mm -hmm. I don't know why uh, why the Tri Brigade. It's just, I think because it's just got it's got good matchups in every situation. I think it's I think because it's the current TCG format deck. the The cards in the most recent TCG set uh, for the Tri Brigade stuff are actually in Master Duel. Like, there's cards from November of 2021 in Master Duel, like, all those Tri-Brigade, all the Lira Luska cards. So, like, people who are coming from physical to Master Duel, they can't play the Tenny variants, the uh, Sword Soul decks, and they can't play any of the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer stuff, but they can just very easily horizontally slide into their exact deck list for Tri-Brigade Lira Luska. All the cards are there. So all the combos they've been playing on various other sims and at their local tournaments and stuff, they literally can just play it on Master Duel. And I, I just saw someone using Union Carrier in Drytron, but he equipped Eva. Oh, okay. Cool, I guess. Yeah. Like, can't respond to Access Code Talker anyway, so... Yeah, it, it just... This is not how you play... It's okay. Anyway. I mean, it was it was gold. It was just after everybody got demoted. It was like one of my early... I have since played against much stronger Drytron players. Uh, we just give them the Kaiju. Yeah, why them. wouldn't you Kaiju the Beatrice? Uh, it doesn't really matter because I can just swing over my Kaiju and I win. Yeah, I, I, I was just... Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I could have... Um... Yeah, Access Code can just pop the thing and he can't chain to it. So if you Kaiju the Beatrice and then just pop his Herald... Yeah, yeah, I could, have, I could have done it that way. There was a lot of things I would have done differently if I replayed this match. No, I know now. Uh, we, we squeezed out a win. I thought this was a good replay to include because it sort of showed like my earlier lines of thinking with this. Yeah. And how I've approached the matchup uh, itself has actually changed quite a bit.